Good morning, guys. Today is Tipsy Tuesday, the 16th, and I am just getting up for the day. It's almost 9 o'clock. Oh, boy, am I. Oh, I'm looking gorgeous. <laughs> um, I realized it was brought to my attention. My sister told me that I had forgot to put in the piece about the giveaway that I'm going to do. I don't know how in editing I forgot to pull it in so I wanted to talk about that first off so you guys didn't think I forgot so because of Tammy tagging me the other night and giving me the shout out I've got quite a few new subscribers welcome guys I'm so excited. I have had a wonderful time getting to know those of you that have commented below. Ah, love it. I love talking to people. I'm just excited, overwhelmed, happy. So I wanted to give a giveaway because in 24 hours, my subscriptions climbed exactly 100 in 24 hours. Um, one of my boys, we were watching it, and uh, he said, oh, you need one more. If you get one more in 15 minutes, you're at 99. And I'm like, are you, what? And he goes, yeah, because you started before she gave you the shout out at 23 subscribers. He says, and now you're at 122. If you get one more, you're going to have 100 subscribers since she gave you that shout out. And I'm like, and as soon as it come out of his mouth, I got a notification that I got another subscriber. He, I think he was more tickled than I was. <laughs> so I decided that I was gonna do a giveaway and I'm gonna do it the same way I did the Christmas giveaway. So I'm gonna have a secret sentence and every day you've gotta hunt for the secret word and it's gonna to start today. So the first secret word is gonna be hidden somewhere in today's video. And it's gonna end next Monday. So it's only gonna be seven days. So next Monday will be the last word and the first person to comment the full sentence in the comment section of many Mondays video on the 22nd will win the gift bag. And I've already got a few things in there but I, I want some more stuff I I'm thinking how I'm gonna do it is I always talk about being prepared and I talk about carrying the pouch with me every day whoever comments is gonna win a travel pouch for themselves the little makeup kit that I carry hold on a second I'm gonna get that so y'all can okay so I have this pouch that I carry with me every day and some of you've seen this in the past and in here is so if you ever get stuck out and about and you don't have a means to eat anything or you're with somebody who's serving you and you just the food's not appropriate two packs of tuna of course silverware and i just get this stuff from restaurants ask for extra a packet of condiments, and here's a couple mayo, Mrs. Couple Mrs. Dash, couple mustard. Um, so that way, well, actually, four, four mayo, two mustard, and two Mrs. Dash. So that each packet, I can make two servings of tuna salad, and then stevia, green tea beef sticks, two packs of nuts, Ghirardelli, 72% chocolate, and then this is a Nor Cube. Well, it's actually one and a half. I ate half of one the other day. I was at work and just wanted something hot. I wasn't feeling too good. Had a little bit of ick going on in my throat. So I took half the cube, put it in a cup of hot water, and it did. It made me feel better. But so a Nor cube so that you have hot broth. And I keep this stuff in here and keep it with me. And I keep with me every day. And most days, of course, yeah, I don't use it, but I carry with me every day a thermos of hot water. 
hot boiling water and the thermos I got is one of those ones that advertised stay hot for 12 hours and yes it does it works very very well I got it from Marshalls and because I've had to dig into this stuff before I was stuck on the freeway one time for over four hours and had my pouch with me sit there and I just rip off the top of the tuna pouch squish it you know put everything down in the bottom and then squirt the condiments right down in there and stir it up in the pouch and eat from the pouch and so I had oh also what I put in there before I go uh, this is not set up to be right ready to walk out the door yet I normally put in two ounces of cheese whether it be a Lando Lakes cheese square or a uh, mozzarella string cheese but two things of cheese in here before I walk out the door too so you're good this is going to be one thing that you guys win whoever whoever puts the sentence in first on the 22nd will win the travel pouch and then I have a few other things that I'm gonna throw in there uh, as surprises Alrighty, guys, I'm going to go get ready for the day and have me a cup of coffee, and I'll get back with you on Tipsy Tuesday, talk about keto cost and food prices and how to get around this being the most expensive way of eating you have ever experienced, because that's what I'm hearing over on the keto pages. <laughs> See you in a sec. Okay, y'all, I am ready for the day, and I am wearing that new blouse from... Dollar General again, and just a pair of black leggings from Dollar General. Um, so this outfit total, the leggings I did get on clearance for I think three dollars and fifty cents. Of course, the blouse was uh, twelve fifty, so we're looking at sixteen bucks for the whole outfit. I am not going anywhere today. We had another wave of the snowstorm come through, and I think we probably got a good eight inches again last night <laughs> so I took some footage of that and I will put it in here somewhere so I'm going to gather up a few items and we'll do a sitting ramble for tipsy Tuesday and I'll give you a few tips about cheap groceries <laughs> talk to you shortly Alrighty, welcome to tipsy Tuesday and what I wanted to talk about is keto does not have to be expensive I keep hearing the newbies coming on to the pages. Sorry, my little dog's running around playing with his toys and he keeps bumping the table. <laughs> I keep hearing the two newbies coming onto the pages talking about they just did their grocery haul and how expensive it is. And it doesn't have to be. It's expenses. It is as cheap or expensive as you choose to make it. And when I first started out, I did the same thing. I chose to make it a little expensive and I started um, it's been a little over seven months now at this point um, and I got five pounds of coconut flour and as you can see this container is 100% full it's an ice cream container and I put the coconut flour then I put the label on there I put it in here to store it um, but I honestly thought I would go through that in no time whatsoever. I needed it. And then I got from our local Amish pantry, extra fine almond flour. And I bought mm, about two pounds worth, it looks like. And, uh, yeah, I still got well over a pound. This is the bag that it came in. This is the original bag. And there is, it doesn't look really much different than when I bought that. And then I got this from Aldi's. I just had to have the flax seed. And as you can tell, out of the 14 ounces, there's probably a good 10 still left in that bag. And then I had to have the psyllium husk. Got that off of Amazon. Uh, yeah, there's probably been three tablespoons taken out of that, maybe. And then I had to get the, the xanthium gum. <laughs> and, okay, I will admit, see how much this is half gone. Now, out of all of the things that I have here on the table, this one, I would say, yes, get it. Just don't buy such a big bag. 
because a little bit goes a long way. So even though it's cheaper to buy in bulk, a little bit goes a long way. So I will probably have this. I will probably pitch it. Um, it always it's going to expire before I'm going to be able to get through all of it. Okay. So, and then I had to try the Miracle Noodles, okay? And I paid, because I had to get, they don't have this stuff anywhere near where I live. So I had to order it and have it shipped to me. So it was $3 a baggie. And I got the Miracle Rice. Tried the Miracle Noodles one time. And never again. So I have two baggies of this stuff just sitting here. Let's see, when do they expire? They expire in two months. That one does, and so does that one. So, just sitting there. You do not need any of that stuff. Keep it simple, keeps it cheap, okay? Go to Walmart or Aldi. Everybody has a local grocery store that is the cheapest in town. Just get chicken quarters or chicken legs, or a whole chicken, all the, fat and skin still on it and you're going to get a whole chicken normally is five bucks chicken legs are normally less than a dollar a pound and chicken quarters are normally less than a dollar a pound at our local walmart we can go in and get a 10 pound bag of chicken quarters for seven dollars and 90 cents that's 79 cents a pound and they last me if it's if i'm just cooking for myself i'm gonna get over 20 meals out of that bag and that's including once you're done eating your chicken, using the bones and the skin for bone broth. Okay. And then Walmart, they carry ground beef. And you want the highest fat ground beef. You don't want to get lean. You want to get the high fat. They have meat logs that are longer than my leg. I tested it the last time I picked one up. Tested it. Longer than my leg, 99 cents a pound for ground hamburger. I can't even get that at Aldi's at 99 cents a pound or $1.99 a pound. Aldi's is $2.29 a pound. So I buy that whole log and just section it out, section it out into two pound baggies, put them in freezer baggies, put it in my freezer and I just thaw it out as I need it. Okay. A pork loin. Get the whole loin. Because as you buy meat, if you get it in bulk, that's how you're going to save your money. Most of the time, I can pick up a whole pork loin for $1.49 to $1.79 a pound. I've never paid less than $1.49, and I've never paid more than $1.79. Hold on a second. I've got to let my little dog in. He's distracting me, and it's driving me crazy. Okay, he's in. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I buy pork loin as a whole loin and bring it home and cut it up into big roast chunks, uh, pork chops to butterfly, and then you st oh, stuff it with, take broccoli and cheese and a little bit of mushroom and uh, make and an egg and make like a paste a little bit of Parmesan cheese, all your spices, and you make like a paste and stuff that in a pork butterfly pork chop and bake that in the oven. Yeah, that's some goodness right there. <laughs> I'll do that for you sometime and film it. Okay, or go to your local butcher, not getting it from a chain grocery store's meat section. Go to your local butcher. We have just the next little small town over, um, a wonderful butcher called Cochran's. And me and my husband go out there at the end of every month and we buy a whole loin of ribeye. And they cut those in the steaks for us. And we don't have them trim the fat off or anything. And they are more than willing to do it. And then they package it two steaks per pack, no extra charge. So they're cutting it up for you. They're packaging for you. Two steaks per package, one steak, whatever you want. They'll package it however you want. Bring it home, put it in your freezer, and you got enough steaks to last you for the rest of the month. It is fantastic. And we get ribeye out there for $5.99 a pound for that whole loin. So about a hundred bucks, and we've got steaks for the rest of, good steaks for the rest of the month.
So checking out your local butcher shops. Um, but if you can't find that, then every now and then, all these has their roast down to three three ninety six a pound. So get a nice big roast and cut that up into six ounce little chunks. Weigh them out, put them in the freezer, and then each time that's individual. If if you're not cooking for a family, me and my husband don't really have children here. Uh, we do have our boys. We call them our boys. Uh, we fostered some kids and. Uh, they're all grown now, but they still come by and see us quite often. So if we're cooking for them, we'll cook a whole roast. If we're taking care of us, we t tend to do more individual. He fends for himself, I fend for myself. So that's, the, depending on that, it's how our meats get packaged. Um, so then you want to get your dark green veggies. Aldi. I love Aldi. And I know different places Aldi has different um not different stuff but different levels of consideration and care for the area because I've been to Aldi in a different city uh we went and stayed at a hotel and I'm like oh my gosh there's just an Aldi at the end of the block we'll run down there and get some groceries bring to the hotel keep our eating cheaper mm -mm, no I wouldn't have bought anything from that store everything looked poor everything looked poor. I mean, wilted and mushy and watery and ew, no, no, no. Our Aldi looks fantastic. Um, it, the way it's set up, everything looks fresh. It smells good in there. And it just, yeah, it, it's, our Aldi is awesome. I have never went in there and been disappointed in anything that I've bought. And so, I understand not all these are are equal. I understand that. But if you have one, all these, you cannot beat their produce. I love their spring mix greens, and it comes in this huge container. Um, I love their tomatoes and their celery and their cabbage and their broccoli and their cauliflower, Brussels sprout. I mean, you can pretty much get anything there. At radishes. So check out your local Aldi, but if not, Walmart has a good produce section. Um, but if you're just, that's being the bulk of your diet is those things. Let go of all the rest of this stuff that you don't need. Keep it simple, keeps it cheap. And people say, oh, I get tired of eggs. There's so many different ways to have eggs. Uh, boiled, poached, fried, Dippy eggs, scrambled eggs, omelets, quiche. Um, to me, I could have my eggs different every morning for at least 10 mornings. And so it's like, how can I get tired of it when it tastes different every day? Um, put some salsa on those eggs. Make it a Southwestern omelet. Uh, you know, make it an Italian omelet. Put some pepperoni in there. Um, there's a lot, a Greek omelet. Put some feta cheese and diced up olives in there. There are so many different things that we can make the eggs taste different. It's very versatile. You have to put effort into the cooking and the preparation. But eggs, in my opinion, is the number one most versatile food that we're offered on the ketogenic diet with chicken coming in second. So they, I never, I am never without eggs or chicken. Okay, um, just learn to cook with those few staples and they will offer you such a wide palette of foods that it's wonderful. Um, I'm not saying don't have fun with the mug cakes and that kind of stuff because I did make them in the beginning. I have not made one and I am sure three or four months. It just, I like to keep it simple and use the spices to carry my food and uh, really to support that wonderful, rich flavor palette. All right, guys, I hope I helped you out and I will try to do more filmed full days of eating because I really liked the way that looked last night. It came together better than I expected. So I'll try to do that more often than just my food and pictures. Alrighty, I'm going to let you go because I'm sure this is 
really been a ramble. It's rolling on and getting lengthy. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Blessings. Oh, another wave of that storm come through again last night. Thank goodness I was already scheduled off today because I would not be going anywhere. So, oh my, it is beautiful though. Look at how heavy, heavy that snow is up in the trees. Look at that. Ah, it is beautiful. All right, guys. Talk to you in a bit.